It's bonus episode time on Colorful Artie's channel. Praise God on this amazing day. And greetings from Colorful Artie, your friendly neighborhood 2D painting, everybody. So, today we're going to be showing off the custom level editor. So, we can start by creating new custom levels. <laughs> yep, as you can already see, I have a name down there. But let's enter a new one. So, let's say Artie wants to make some levels. So, you can enter Artie's your name or anything you want. And welcome to the built-in level editor. So we have a couple of options here. We can make platforms, bone platforms. We can use the sticky goo, the oil. We can make stakes, trampolines, teleporters, the super jump pads, the super pep, hot cocoa, star flag, and end flag. We can also put bears, wow. cats, frogs, and skunks down. Stuff. You can use the stuff to make your own level. Pick a game piece from here. <laughs> Then slide it up onto the grid. Press this to use the eraser. Press this to clear the whole level. Press this button to pick a new background. And this isn't the only level. You can design ten of them. And when you're ready to play your very own custom game, click on the Go button, and Pep and I will be ready to join you. If you want to go back to the main menu, all you got to do is click on the Stop button. And the good thing is, your changes will always be saved. Well, have fun designing your own levels. I know Pep and I will sure have fun playing them. Thanks, Pup Hut. He did a great job explaining that. So, pretty much what he said. So let's start by clearing out this old level. Can I clear this whole level? Yes. So we have three different tile sets we can choose from. Or I guess, three different worlds. We can do Rome, we can do the Bongo Jungle, and we can do the Crate Factory. Three of kind of the lamer ones, except the Crate Factory, which is a lot of fun. So we can just start by putting platforms, Helter Skelter, anywhere you want. It's pretty basic. So, for example, if we want to put the exit there, we can put the entrance there. Now we're going to need a super jump pad somewhere on the level, like right there. And now, let's put on like a frog or two, cat, and then a skunk. It's nice not to go overboard with all the different uh, animals. We can put a nice steak dinner there. Teleporters do work a slightly differently in the level editor than in the actual game. So in the game, each portal, depending on the way you jumped into it, would take you to a different portal. Whereas in this one, you jump in a portal, it's preset every time. And it's very hard to choose which portal goes where. So for example, if I put like just a lot of portals around here then guess what? It's going to be exactly the same every single time. It's not going to randomize the portals at all. But it's also like impossible to tell which portal is going to go where when you're designing the level, so that's a bit irritating. But yeah, so you can make a simple level kind of like that, and let's play it. I wonder what that glowing thing does. <laughs> So then for the level, you're gonna, like... Yeah. So these two... Okay, those two teleporters don't fit up exactly. Maybe the teleporters do behave the same way. I always felt like they were weird. Super pep! Yeah, so jumping in that teleporter will always take us there. I don't know why. That's just the way it works. So you can kind of get the gist of how the level's designer works. It's pretty basic, but it's also very intuitive. And you can do quite a bit with it. They put in all the cool stuff, except for the coolest worlds. But that's fine. So that's all I want to show off on the custom level editor. It's now time for us to play him. I've made 10 levels just for your viewing entertainment. 
I hope you enjoy them, and uh, we're gonna want to turn this on. <laughs> Uh oh, I think I smell a skunk. No, really? <laughs> oh no, Pepe Le Pew, how could you? So, these are basically a bunch of totally diabolically evil levels that I have designed. This is why I encourage people to use unlimited peps as the junior helper. Blech. Oh no! I can't jump! Oh, that's bad. Good. I think I might be stuck. Never mind, cool! That level can work out in your favor pretty quickly, or it could be a nightmare. Hey, there's a trampoline! So the reason I start out with bongo levels and you're not after this level there are no more bongo levels is because I tried kind of spacing the worlds out evenly. And I found when you make bongo levels on later levels in your custom uh, levels, I used levels too many times in that sentence, then it, uh, the later bongo levels will turn out to generate errors. I don't know why. So the key for this level is hoping the frogs jump off a cliff. But nope! That's bad. Frogs are really nasty enemies you can put in, so I definitely took advantage of that. Uh, bah humbug. Oh no, if one of the frogs goes over there, you're pretty much screwed. That's the problem. And again, this is not good level design. I copied these levels over from, like, levels I made when I was much more young. And I didn't really understand good level design back then. I'm just like, let's make it as hard as I can for my siblings. Frog jumped off a cliff over there. Sweet! So if you can't clearly see the way to the exit, let us help you out a little. Darn you, frogs! Yeah, you kind of get the gist of it. That's one of the more diabolical levels, I'd say. Go forward, please. Thank you. I wonder what that glowing thing does. This is probably my favorite level out of the ones I made. It's very compact, but also really cool. Oh, the frogs jumped off. And that stake platform should not be there. I goofed up. Or maybe I added it in just... Brilliant frogs, very brilliant. Yeah, it might be bad form to say you really like your own levels, but I really like this level that I made. Goodbye! You really do have to watch your path, and you really use every part of the level. Oh, shoot! That's bad! See what I mean? It's very easy to get caught off guard. Which is part of the reason this level works really well. Granted, the frogs also jump off the cliff incredibly easily. But I don't know how to fix that. Yeah, that stakes a trap. Actually, no, never mind. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> I should have jumped on the trampoline next to the stake platform to jump back. Then I could have saved my life. No! No! I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Whoa! Go get those bones! <laughs> nice fast forward pot pot there.
Oil really does help make your levels more unique. And uh, it can be used to make your levels more puzzle-based than action-based. Kind of cool. Yeah, you're supposed to jump in the teleporter and bada beam bada boom, go to the exit. Oh, thank goodness, the frog was far enough behind us that we could go for the teleporter. Oh, no, no, no! Moron! Those frogs just really love being on Pogo Sticks. Ah, uh, I was hoping we would teleport through each other. Bother you, frog! Looks like we'll be getting two bonus episodes! I've already got plans for a second bonus episode. I thought we might be able to squeeze them both into one, but nope! I forgot how hard these levels were. Alright, cool. Oh no, you... That is mean, frog. Yes, you can see I really like spamming frogs on my levels. Darn you, frog! Oh well, at least the other one jumped off a cliff. I feel like that's my levels in a nutshell. Like, well, the, the strategy for this level? Hope the frogs jump off a cliff. Bobber! I don't remember this level being that annoying. I also can't tell if that's one frog or two. Yay! Now be nice, frogs. Yep, like that. Thank you. That frog's like, oh, I couldn't stop him. Might as well jump off a cliff. <laughs> I wonder what that glowing thing does. So this is just a little proof of concept with the teleporters. So we jump down that teleporter, jump down that. My bad. Trampoline! So this is how I intended the level to be. A maze of teleporters. However, yeah. It's pretty easy. But you get a lot of bonus points, so that's probably the easiest level in this uh, series of ten. That oil sure looks slippery! You know it, Putt-Putt. And hey, I incorporated cats on this level, not just frogs. Look at me for my diversity. Aww, kitty loves you, Pep. <laughs> that's what I was hoping for. Oh darn you! The frogs are the worst, and also the best. Yay! Froggy jumped off a cliff like a moron. So if you want, you can get a stake over here because there are no enemies around. I think I will do just that. Oh, you are the worst! I was invincible from that frog. I just realized that bone and that bone are inaccessible. Okay, cool. I think we're in the clear. 
Actually, never mind. So that shows off an often missed part of the blue portal. If you jump on oil with the blue portal, like, activated on you, then you will actually slip twice as far. It's kind of cool. And we will be seeing that again in a later custom level. Uh oh I think I smell a gunk. Yeah, there's only one two feet from us, Putt Putt. Come on. Oh, thank you for jumping off a cliff, Frog. You've been a very big help to me. Here's where you really have to hope the frogs are nice. They weren't. And the skunks are not being nice with them spraying literally everywhere. So the frogs are just having a hopping good time over there. Good for them, I guess. Oh, darn. Oh, the frog didn't go after me. Oh, darn it, the frog's going after me. Oh, and the skunk came over to the other side. And the frogs can jump over here as well. Well, maybe they'll jump off a cliff. Or maybe I'll just walk right into them. This is why Junior Helper should be on. It's pretty much required for these levels. Which I made sure to preface with. Blech. At least they can't make hedgehogs in the custom levels, or else these levels would be even more devious. I can never tell if the frogs are going to hop super far or just regular amount. Okay, one skunk jumped off the cliff. And the other fro that frog just jumped off the cliff, too. Alright, I think I'm good. Also, I'm pretty sure frogs can't activate the blue portal on themselves. That would be too much, because then they could hop for it. Thank you. Then with the blue portal, they could potentially hop forward four squares. That would be way too insane. So we've got a few options, but what it's supposed to do is go over here. Slip. Boom. Portal. Jump. Slip! <laughs> so there are a lot of stakes on this level if you are willing to go for the level twice in a row. And that is worst case scenario just right off the bat. Two of the cats both jump towards you at the very beginning. Okay, two of the cats on the other side have gone into the stake pen. That's good. <laughs> I glitched the game, apparently. Okay, you know what this is time for? It's time for Scum VM debugging! Let's go to room... 7. Yep, there we go. Wait! I need me my junior helper. Hey, there's a trampoline! Yes, there is, Pot Pot. So this beginning part's very diabolical. By that I mean just flat out unfair. You have to kind of hope that they all jump off a cliff. This used to be level 3 in the pack. Darn it, they keep getting off... Uh, off sync. 
Yeah, so what you want to do is, like, lure them upwards. Cool. If we can just keep making them go upwards... Yep, like that. Alright. Gotta do a quick maneuver! Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 exactly like that. Now, if you really want, you can go and get those stakes in the middle. But if you have infinite peps on anyways, there's no point. <laughs> okay, this is e this is quite possibly the most evil level in the pack. Like, probably the most evil level. Actually, maybe not. I still think the next level is the hardest. I think I put too many bears down. Oh, doggone it! So close. <laughs> those, those Roman bears, they just love good time! There's a delay on the teleporter, so you can't actually go through all the way until Puppet's all off screen. That was just a no win situation. How many bears are on that teleporter? Way too many. There's like... There's like four bears on there! If you're good, you can actually get the bears to jump off a cliff. And that's why you don't enter the teleporter until Papa goes off screen. Alright, I've, I've just had enough of this level. It's luck-based. But I, I do think level 10 is still the hardest level. That oil sure looks slippery! Yeah, it does! <laughs> Good luck with this level! There is a super pep if you want it, but you have to go far out of your way to get it. By that I mean, you literally have to reach the end of the level and be like, instead of going to the exit, I'm going to keep going to get the super pep. Once again, most of the strategy on this level relies on the frogs jumping off cliffs. But yeah, you're supposed to go zip zip zip, zip zip zip, zip zip zip, zip 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 zip. Bother you frogs! And this really just puts into perspective how nice and simple the game is. Yeah, the, the sticky fiends on the edges are the real diabolical bit. <laughs> I could make this level harder. Alright, the frogs are just being uncooperative, so... That's, I think, where we're gonna have to leave the episode for today. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Arty. That's just one bonus set video. There's gonna be a second one next time, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Have a great day, and God bless.